Hello, here we go again. This is Piping Welding and NDT channel. So let I will uh, show you the typical 45 degrees isometric offset. Okay, and also uh, an example of um, isometric drawing. And in isometric drawing, you will show you the shadow for the vertical and the horizontal. Okay. The so first drawing is the vertical line, okay? The vertical line means the vertical, so like this, okay? And the horizontal is like this, okay? And how is how to, how to use this vertical and horizontal line in isometric drawing? First, we will make an orientation okay this is important this is our north of course this is south east and west okay so our topic is typical 45 degrees in isometric offsets okay first line first line is one this is full and we have elbow and also elbow here we have a joint we have a joint here and also here joint and joint so if you see this joint uh, like this with shaded this is shuffled okay and if you see this joint they have um, a line like this this is fill weld and this is sharp weld okay so let's go to the shadow Our shadow here is um, this is a vertical. Okay, this is a vertical shadow, and this vertical shadow it means our spool is going up. So I will show you in the wire. So for example, this is our five. Okay, so this line, this elbow, one and two. Okay, so it means this line is going to, this is a vertical, okay, vertical, and the shadow is here, okay, shadow. So our uh, orientation is going to going to west, okay? This is west, east and south. Okay? And to make a box here So it's, this is going to um, west side, okay. And other line, we will we will make a other line. This is also a a vertical line, okay. We will, make, we will make also a triangle here so this is going to north side okay and another vertical line going to east to 
the shadow is here okay this is a vertical line lately the wire is like this now if you're going to the east going to the this wires like this position okay this line is one and this line going up and then going to east okay this is our shadow vertical okay so now we are finished for the vertical shadow and let's move on from the horizontal shadow let's arrange this one okay we will make a horizontal so this is a horizontal shadow let's put a joint 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 okay example we have a joint one here two three and four okay. we have four joints the vertical are uh, the horizontal shadows if you see in the wire the wire is going like this okay so this is one this is a line in a joint one and this is pull this one and in the drawing and joint and going to join for this line okay so vertical this is horizontal i mean Okay. Let's make another example for the horizontal line. I'm not good in a drawing, but the important thing here is the how to read the <coughs> shadow. So this is also horizontal shadow. So see the drawing. Our line is going like this. Okay, this is a horizontal. Okay, this is going down. Going down this line is going down okay so this is a very important how to read in isometric the shadow so I will give you the example of the isometric with horizontal and vertical shadow so this is the example of the horizontal and vertical shadow this is the isometric drawing and our noting is here you see this one this is our north if you see this uh, horizontal and vertical shadow so this is this line this line is what is this this is horizontal shadow and we have a vertical shadow and also a vertical shadow this is a rolling offset with a rolling offset 93 and 93 and up with 11 so this is a vertical shadow so this is the example of the horizontal and the vertical in the isometric okay so 
that's all for now guys and thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye